Okay, so in this question, a constant horizontal force F is applied to block Y. Block Y is in contact with a separate block X. The blocks remain in contact as they accelerate along the accelerate along a horizontal frictionless surface. Y has a greater mass than X. Air resistance is negligible. Which statement is correct? The force F is equal to the product of uh, mass M and acceleration Y. The force that Y exerts on X is less than F. Well, definitely, this, is, this will be the correct answer, but we will see how. The force that Y exerts on X is less than the force that X exerts on Y. No. Okay. We will go for all the options one by one. So let us first uh, delve a little deeper into the theory of this particular kind of questions. What is actually happening here? See, simple. There are a couple of steps that we need to follow. What is the step number one? You need to find total acceleration. Let us call it AD. So total acceleration is total force divided by total mass that is in motion. So F divided by MX plus MY. This is the total acceleration. Total means both of the bodies are moving with the same acceleration and that acceleration is this. Whatever be the force F. But this is the total acceleration with which both of the bodies are moving. Now let us go for step number two and let us find what is the force on body x so f is equal to m into a so mass of the body x into a and the acceleration is this so acceleration we have taken from the step one only because individually also the mass x is moving with the acceleration a t so the force on x is this so let us call it f x let us go for step number three. Now, what is the force on Y? Fy is my into the acceleration. So that will be this. My into F divided by mx plus my because that is mass into acceleration particularly. So this is for the individual bodies. So now one thing is evident. If you add the force on this and force on this, we can say that the total force F is equal to force on X plus force on Y. Isn't it? You see uh, this value that is one and this two, when we add them, acceleration is common. So MX plus MY will be added together. So F will be coming out to be equal to F. So it means that this force F in our diagram is actually divided into two parts. The first part will be force on Y and the second part will be the force on X. Now let us move to the options. Option number one, two, three, four. Option number one, the force F is equal to the product of mass of Y and acceleration of Y. Exactly not because that will be equal to F Y. So this is wrong. The option is talking about the total force. Option B, the force that Y exerts on X is less than F. So the force that is Y exerting on X is actually equal to F of X, Fx. So I can say that it will definitely be lesser than F. There is no doubt about it because F is equal to Fx plus Fy. And moreover, if we concentrate at this ratio, you can see that Mx divided by mx plus my is lesser than one so lesser than one multiplied by f will definitely be lesser than f so b option is absolutely correct option number c the force that y exerts on x is less than the force that x exerts on y absolutely not because these two forces are going to be action reaction pair this is force on x because of y this is force on y because of x so they will always be equal to each other magnitude wise. The force that Y exerts on X is equal to F. Even this is not right. I think the theory as well as the numerical should be crystal clear to you. If there is any doubt, please do let me know in the comment section. This is a very important topic. Do not ignore. All the best. Bye.